Hello and welcome to Engineers Mindset. Now I'll take us through a series of stress induced in a compound bar. What is a compound bar? A compound bar is simply two or more bars that are joined together to prevent uneven distribution of strain of the bar. A good example is what we call a bimetallic strip. Okay, so let's say we have two bars that are joined together. Uh, let's say we have two bars, this is a copper bar, and the steel, this is steel, joined together at this point by means of either a bolt or by welding. This is a good example of a compound bar. So when these bars are joined together to prevent uneven strain of the bars, it is called um, a compound bar. Now, there are two very key formulas in which we use to analyze compound bars. The first is what we call the compatibility equation. Okay, compatibility equation. Alright, so the compatibility equation simply states that for two bars to be um, unevenly strained, the strain in one must be equal to the strain in the other. Okay, so for two bars to be compatible, the strain of one of the bars must be equal to the strain of the other. So for instance, let's consider the copper and the steel bar. In that means that the strain of copper must be equal to the strain of the steel bar. This is compatibility equation. So let's call this equation. One. The next equation to consider is the load carried by the bar. If a compound bar carries a load, let's say P, this load is equal to the individual loads carried by each of the bars and makes of the compound bar. Okay, so what that means is this, this load P is equal to the load carried by the copper, which is PC, plus the load carried by the steel and PS, so this is equation 2. So the ability for us to play around these situations is where we can actually find out the stress induced in a compound bar. Now the first thing we do is that recall that strain itself is actually stress all over Young's modulus. So it means now that I can rewrite this equation in place of strain of copper, I will have stress of copper all over Young's modulus of copper to be equal to. In place of strain of steel, I will have stress of steel all over Young's modulus of steel. So this can be called equation 3. Okay, so it's just modernizing the equation. You see the same thing. Also, recall that stress itself, recall that stress is actually load all over area. So which means we can find our loads to be equal to stress times area. So if this is true, then the load carried by compound bar P is actually equal to load carried by copper, which is stress of copper times area of copper plus load carried by steel, which is stress of steel times area of steel. So this can be called equation 4. Okay, so these two equations or these four equations which are crafted from the main two equations are what will guide us in carrying out analysis on stress induced in compound parts. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video here. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't fail to subscribe and of course invite your friends for more subscribers. I will see you in the next video with more problems on stress induced in compound parts. Alright, thank you.